Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to be discussing a more different topic in this video. So, what I want to talk about today is how WWE, 2K, whoever's in charge, is handling, well, probably WWE, but, it, but that doesn't matter, is handling the Stand Back DLC pack. If you never, if you never heard of this uh, DLC pack, catch up. And if you didn't, um, all it's the next DLC pack coming out, releasing on June seventh. But I have bad news regarding the pack. The original plans were the pack was going to include names such as Stacy Keebler. Hurricane Helms, A-Kid, and Nash Carter. But, if you've probably heard the story by now, and if you haven't, just look it up right after this video if you want to. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's worthless. I don't know. But, Nash Carter was released by from his WWE contract earlier this year. And I said before that he was meant to be in the pack so he's released well you're probably thinking well did he get out on good terms well the answer was no he he didn't so they straight up removed him from the pack which i think wwe forced them to do this and a lot of people believe this as well they were likely forced by wwe to do this to remove him from the pack, but I think they should have let it slide. The this despite him doing actions that we won't discuss in this video, I don't think that they should have removed him straight up removed him from the pack. I think that it was way too close to his release to remove him that close to the pack's release. So I think. So you're probably thinking, oh, he got removed, oh well, we're gonna lose someone that, we're gonna lose Nash Carter, oh well. Um, no, they replaced it, and you're probably thinking, if you haven't heard the story by now, well, you're probably thinking, oh my god, they replaced it, that's good, that's good, who did they replace it with? An Emerald Booker T My Faction card, and an Emerald Seth Rollins My Faction card. How pleasant. Not very many people were happy by this. But, but, personally, I'm not either. Um, first of all, if you're going to give them a, if they're paying money for this, if you're going to give them a free, a free My Faction card if they got the season pass or they can just buy it normally, which a lot of people do. More than you might think, actually. But I'm, I'm just... But I'm not going to talk about that. We're talking about other stuff. Cooler stuff, I guess. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Anyway. Now, we discuss the... The... the, the at least, if they were going to put a My Faction card in there, all the other My Faction characters... Um, all the other My Faction... All the characters of the downloadable content get my faction cards. Um, so, so this is just two extra cards to use. And I think that that's honestly a little bit weird. I think that they should have at least... I think that if they were to... That I think if theming and timing were correct... They should have released... Remember Dominic Dijakovic and Alexa Bliss when they released all those My Rise characters for the original game? They should have waited to announce that they were removing Nash Carter so that they could earn their trust back. Because they haven't... Sure, they released a phenomenal game. Um, not a perfect game, but a good one. To earn back our trust after the after the disaster that was 2K20, but 
At the same time, I feel that they need to earn more trust back because not only was 2K20 a buggy mess, it was also very, it was just a bad game in general. A lot of features were added that we didn't want or ask for, and a lot of features were removed as well, which we're not going to get into in this video because we're not talking about 2K20, we're talking about the Stand Back DLC pack for WWE 2K22. Two things that are completely, basically, completely different. So, we're not going to get into the details about how much of a disaster the game was. But it did create a lot of absolute monsters, such as Faceless Becky Lynch. Do you remember her? Of course you do. You see it all over the internet. And anyway, now we, but we, now I continue. So, they added new My Faction cards, but they gave, they were emerald, emerald. People are paying money for this, like the season pass, whatever they bought to get this DLC pack. Or maybe they just bought it normally, like normal people. And what normal people do who don't waste their money. Um, <laughs> that was stupid. I won't do that again. Anyway. But they should have realized that people are paying money for this. And if they were to have my faction cards, they should at least be... Ruby, Amethyst, or Diamond. Because people are paying money for this. And I realize that they need to have people spend money on my faction. Otherwise, they don't get money. And I know that. I'm not just a stupid kid who thinks that they should give people more. No. I believe that they could want... They, they could actually give the players a, a deal. Like with the pack but still that would be outrageous to a lot of people including myself because i want a playable character <laughs> but well, i'm not complaining i'm just explaining <laughs> even though i have complained a couple times but ignore those times and just focus on the now anyway um we also they could have they could have added someone from the I realize that they can't just make a character in a day these designs especially if they want to be on par with the designs that are already in the game already in game um those take lots of hard work and effort and I'm not saying that they could just make a character in an hour or so these take a lot of hard work and effort to make these. So I'm not saying that they just make a character out of nowhere. I'm saying that they could have just got rid of Nash Carter and had no controversy. But no, they had to go the extra mile. Well, not exactly the extra mile. But they had to do something stupid like they always do. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Uh, that's enough of me complaining, but I really do believe that they could have just got rid of Nash Carter and had no controversy. And then absolute idiots could have just said, they could have put Cody in! Now obviously they could have did that, but obviously they can't because that takes a lot of hard work and effort! Yay! Effort! I'm kidding. But, I do believe that they could have just got rid of Nash Carter. I do just believe that. I think they could have gotten no debate from that. They could have had no one make a video on it. They could have just got rid of Nash Carter and they would have been fine. But no. They had to be stupid. They had to replace him with two Emerald My Faction cards. One of the lowest rankings in the game. Now, Emerald cards aren't bad. At the moment, I'm using one Ruby card and three Emerald cards because I don't play My Faction that much, okay? Don't make fun of me. And there's... But still, 
they give they give us diamond not 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 emerald bad 2k <laughs> but anyway that's just me complaining for a bit and also 2k23 got revealed and i am so happy that it's actually happening we for a long time we didn't know whether they were going to sell their rights to ea or they were going to make a new game so I'm happy they're making a new game with 2K because now they earn their trust back. Also, um, that's all I have for today. Um, the, I, the end, I guess. Also, AEW is better than WWE. There, I said it.